Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and it's time for another nerd vlog. One, I've got this really awesome trip to California coming up where you and I can meet up and give each other crisp high fives. Plus two, I have quite a few new printers that have come into the channel and they're each going to get their time on camera and I'm going to get my dirty hands all over them. So I got to tell you what's come in. How does that sound? All right. Uh, great. Let's do that. Are you ready? Go. Haha, <laughs> I just got a squirtle. First up, I really want to tell you about this cool trip to California I'm taking. On July 19th, I'm going to be at Matter Hackers for a, for a meetup. Yeah, Matter Hackers is hosting me and, and Bill from Punished Props. And there's going to be food and drink and people can bring their failed prints in and the technicians will be on duty to help diagnose what's wrong. Uh, I'll be there handing out high fives. Uh, I'm really excited because they have this, this giant room just full of all sorts of filament and a bunch of different machines just printing 24 seven. And I think I'm just gonna go in there and just giggle like a small child because it's like I'm gonna be in heaven. It's gonna be awesome. Plus Matter Hackers has this really cool design challenge going right now and the winner of this design challenge wins a 3D printer, which is fantastic. So the link to that and the link to the meetup where you can RSVP, you know, to make sure they have enough pie and booze uh, is down in the description. So just if you plan on attending, go down there and click it and let them know so that they have enough rum or vodka or pie or whatever it is you prefer. That's all July 19th down at Matter Hackers. And once that's over and I get a, I get a night's rest, then I move down, up, down. I move down to San Diego for a few days where I volunteer for the Nerd Machines Nerd HQ Comic-Con offsite events. San Diego Comic-Con is going to be going on July 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, which is just incredible. And during that time, the Nerd Machine hosts Nerd HQ, which is an off-site event full of all sorts of cool tech and free stuff and really couches with chargers so you can sit down and charge your device for free. It's all free in there. Plus, there are conversations for a cause where celebrities hold panels, just like there's panels at Comic-Con, but these panels are usually limited to just 200 people. Ticket prices are 20 to 25 bucks a piece. I don't know exactly what the ticket price is going to be this year, but the whole hour for that panel is then driven by audience questions and all sorts of really cool things have happened during Nerd HQ conversations for our cause, including the time my daughter got to talk to Matt Smith and ask him if he was afraid of the Weeping Angels. So that's July 21st through the 24th at the New Children's Museum in San Diego, and, and you can't miss it. It's awesome. I really hope you're in the area, and if you are in the area, please come to Nerd HQ and ask any one of the volunteers there for me and they'll know where I'm at, which is fantastic because it's a huge amount of volunteer work to make it all happen and all of the proceeds benefit Operation Smile. Well, cool, so now you've heard about my trip down to Matter Hackers and you've heard about my trip to Nerd HQ in San Diego during Comic-Con. Now let's talk about some of these printers that have come into the channel. First up, let's talk about this machine. This is the Cubicon Style and I've been having a fantastic time with this machine. This is easily the machine that has printed ABS the best for me. And as I've said before, ABS and I really don't get along too well. Maybe this will change it. Maybe this machine will change my thoughts on ABS. It's just, it looks good. And that build plate is amazing. If you saw the video where I was removing this from the build plate, you saw that it came off easier than anything I've ever taken off a build plate ever, which is just crazy pants. And it was wonderful. Uh, I, I look forward to printing a lot more with this machine. Here's a, look at that. There's one of Chaos Cortex little rock slimes. I did attempt to print the, the, uh, the jack stand 
thing and uh, yeah, the knob just broke right off. I think I did it at a default setting of 10% infill, which is by far not enough. I may print it in uh, 50 to 100% infill just to see if it would work out, but yeah, an ABS machine that I like, maybe, maybe ABS and I will be good friends again. I don't know, well, we'll have to find out. This right here is the 3D Gents 1 provided by my buddy Preet at Design Box 3D. Preet did a really good job at getting me this wonderful printer because it prints extremely well. There are some caveats to how it prints and what it prints. And in fact, this is the machine that I'm going to be reviewing next. So if you have any questions that you need me answering in this review, please let me know. But, but look how this machine is built. It is, it is built tough. This thing, this thing would, this thing would hurt if I threw it at you. That's for sure. There's the little ghost I printed. Remember that guy? But this is the next machine I'm going to review. It's, it's going to be an interesting review. And if you do have any questions, please get them in because I'm going to be filming uh, as soon as I can. This was also a crazy week for deliveries because three more printers came in just like that. So right up here, this is the TiVo Tarantula. Let's see, there it is, Tarantula. This is the TiVo Tarantula. That was, that was, uh, this is one of these is part of my printer giveaway that I'm doing for my 30K contest. And I'll put that link down in the description, but it's wrapped up really nice. It's a kit and it's going to be something that my kids and I put together and then I'll give it a fair review here on the channel. Uh, right, right behind it, you know what that is? That's a Fabricator Mini. Yeah, Hobby King sent that just out of the blue. So now I have a Fabricator Mini. Awesome. I've never used one before, but I've seen the videos from Chuck and I've seen the videos from Angus. So I think I'll be in good hands and I'll, I'll be able to figure this out. Oh, and last but not least, Holy cow, it's huge. This, this monster, there we go. This machine is the Raze 3D N2 Plus and this box is on a pallet because this machine is very, very big and it has wheels. This machine has wheels on the bottom so I can push it around if I need to. But Raze 3D was very interested in getting my opinion of their machines and I was very interested in getting machine to give my opinion on so we made a deal and once it cleared LA customs this was this was it it's here oh my goodness I'm looking at it in the in the viewfinder here of my my camera phone and it's uh, it's just huge my goodness this thing this thing is just huge there we go maybe I'll give you an idea look at that freaking huge uh I I need to figure out, because I want to unbox this properly, right? I'm going to have to do this on camera, and I'll get some sort of camera up top to make sure, but I am really looking forward to playing with this one. This, this is one of the coolest machines I've ever seen. I got to see it at Bay Area Maker Fair, and I, I really liked it, and then we got in contact, and magic happened. So hopefully I'm able to get this out of the box really soon, because I just can't wait. That's all the time I have for tonight. I have a lot of stuff that I need to get done before my trip, and I've got a couple more videos I do need to shoot before I leave for California, plus all the stuff I need to get done around the house and my day job. Uh, time is short, but uh, I'll get a few more videos out before I go to California, and you can bet I will have a ton of video shot while down in California. Don't forget to follow me on the various social networks, and those links are down in the description because uh, I always post to Instagram and Twitter before I release it on video. So if you follow me there, you'll get to see some things ahead of time and that's pretty cool. God, I really hope, I really hope if you're in San Diego or you're near Matter Hackers next week, I really hope that we get to meet up because I'm, I'm itching to give out some really good high fives. Plus, there's gonna be tons of Pokemon down there, right? Cause you're all playing Pokemon Go, right? Right? Ah, thanks you guys. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos and subscribing to my channel. It means quite a bit. Uh, leave a comment down below again if you have any question about anything I talked about in this video. You can throw me a dollar more via Patreon if you want to financially support the channel, but obviously 
uh, I'm never going to require it. This is always going to be free content. Plus, all I really need from you is a social high five, which you can give me next week. And speaking of high fives, as always, high five. Joel telling and he's printing 3D like some Pokemon, a gun from Destiny. And when you call him a nerd, he'll stand up proudly. Cause he's packing some heat from his YouTube family. He can review printers till he falls to the floor. Then he'll give them away like Oprah in 04. There's the Wombot, Lulzbot, GMAX XT. Then a break for Red Bull and Logos Taco Crispy. Printed koozie in his hand for his drink. He sets up his GoPro and prints out a bender bang. So send him a dollar to put in his head or a self addressed envelope. Look for a sticker instead There's a nerd vlogs on boxings and Q's and A's And he'll open your mail every single Friday And of course you can't forget that pancake bot And filaments phonic please And Joel's cute little sign And they printed this printer at Holodex Studio Like Lando Calrissian freeze dried Han Solo So show your support on Patreon or subscribe And as always, high five